You can do this. Just start off light and work your way up. Good evening, campers. We're going to talk about a book where a woman wants to have sex with a bear. Darn it. What is it about? I don't even know what it's about. Now, luckily, with the hat situation, I can read. Okay, a mousy librarian is summoned to a remote Canadian island to inventory the estate Colonel Jocelyn Carey. Colonel Carey, as the reader quickly learns, has a number of secrets, but the most surprising and the most endearing is a bear. By page 20, a librarian has met the bear and wondered if the bear would be good company. The bear is indeed good company. This sounds great! Sold. Oh, no! Wait, hang on. I didn't notice this. On the bear, there's a little hand. And this person doesn't look clothed to me. No. No. Don't say that. Oh, I've seen a rude word. Oh, okay. I know Anna said she was going to send me an eclectic mix, but I don't think anyone was prepared for what is this? Marion Engels Bear is her last and also most well-known work and has been given the title of Canada's most controversial novel. When this book was released in the 70s, I can imagine it did cause quite a stir. We're taking Bear back to a whole new different level. If you know of or have read Melissa Broder's The Pisces, you kind of know what you're getting into. And I would say this is better than Melissa Broder's the Pisces, which I feel Broder did get some influence from. The fact that Broder's protagonist is studying Sappho and we have Lou the Librarian going through old classical texts. The fact that we have the struggles and politics of sex and being in a sexual relationship within both books. And then add on top a merman and a bear. Engel's bear isn't a mythical creature. It's a bear. And it's chained up. But what Lou the librarian does is trawls through these works. She's been brought in due to <laughs> death and is cataloging his library. But as she flicks through these works, the bear and the image of the bear and the symbolism of the bear and the mythology of the bear all come to the forefront. And Lou in her head assigns those to the bear. This just isn't a bear. This is something magical. Many references from classical literature are brought to the forefront, but one that stays within Lou's mind is a bear and a woman's child is a hero. That is what the hero was. But why on earth would an ordinary librarian want to have sex multiple times with a bear? Well, that's the fact. She's ordinary. There's nothing fascinating about her and she knows that. That's why she's drawn to books. That's why she's drawn to literature because they are interested. They have something worth talking about. Engel depicts Lou as powerless, that everything that she does is more reciprocated than her doing it out of her free will. And if we talk about sex with a bear, let's talk about Homer. Homer's part of this extremely small cast and he and Lou have sex, but still, as it's written, it feels as though Homer has all the power throughout this. When the same act is mirrored by the bear, Lou seems to be the person doing the leading, that she is in control, she is in power. And upon that act being enacted on her, how far can she take this power, sexual power? Yeah, I, I shouldn't really say that because the actual relationship starts when an old lady comes to visit and just like excretes herself in front of the bear, pulls her trousers back up, looks at Lou and goes, that's how you get his attention, and walks off and it's, it's, it's her, it's her bum secretions that is her first step. I don't even know how to describe this book sometimes. But let's describe what Lou ultimately wants. She wants to die because of this. She wants the bear with his power, with the brute force, with his animalistic trends, because he's a bear, to just rip her. She wants to feel his claws go through her skin. And the moment that that happens, everything that Lou has wanted all the ideas, now that they've turned into reality, scarper. She almost reverts exactly back to how she was at the start. So she wants almost submission. She wants almost to be repressed. She doesn't want to 
enact out her fantasies. Side note, this is set in a town called Panath, which translates to Bear's Head. Guess how I know that? There's a Welsh place called Panath. I used to live like 10 minutes from it, and this references the Welsh place. Hey! Biased, biased. I've left this till the end because I feel as though there's a question that most people are going to ask, which is, well, how explicit is this? It does, it, it does describe a moment of cuddling us. There's only one description of the Bears member as she tries to unsheath it and she describes how this cartilaginous shaft won't allow. Yeah, that's, that's the peak. I feel as though at those moments you're meant to have this like revulsion. You're meant to have this shock factor of, oh wait, she's having sex with a bear. The fact that these are few and far between shows that Engels is doing it for a purpose. You could have gone completely Fifty Shades of Bear on this. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd read it. I'd read it all. I'd find the trilogy. No, um... <laughs> But the relationship in the bay, even though it's the most standout part, isn't actually at the forefront of this novel. It is all about relationships and sexual relationship. But what does sex mean? And if you think that this is a book from the 1970s and during the sexual revolution, Engels is confronting of, well, what happens if we do give women power? What happens if we do give women, you know, sexual energy? To the fact that, not that Lou is having sex with a man because the man and the women consent. This is all about Lou wants to have sex with Bay and she is the one in control. And I think if you're interested in sexual politics and sexual nature and sexual relationships, also if you've read the Pisces and liked it, you're going to love this because this is just a better version of the Pisces. So Marin Eggles the Bay, who would have thought it? Probably actually on this channel, everyone would know that I'm gonna rate this quite highly. It's a seven! Hey! Very fun.